All right, y'all, welcome back to another video of Mass Effect. I'm hoping that this will kind of just make my day feel a little bit better. I just woke up not feeling very great this morning and I'm hoping that we'll turn it around. So let's do a quick little recap, maybe not quick because Kind of a lot happened in last episode, now that I've been thinking about it. We met Garrus, we met Tali, we met Rex, we put all three into our party. Garrus has some beef with Saren. Rex killed Fist, which was the right move, but my shepherd doesn't think so. So that was something that happened. I also was thinking about while I was braiding my hair this morning that we're in this alien world and humans seem to be kind of underrepresented in like all aspects of the government. I don't think we're in the council. I mean, the, the universe doesn't really seem to like us from the interactions we've had with different alien races and yet everybody speaks English. So I'm kind of curious about that. I don't know if it's just like a convenience thing. I mean, obviously you can change the languages in the game, but like everyone speaks the same like earthen human language. I thought that was interesting and just, <laughs> I think it's probably not very important. It's more just like for the sake of convenience more than anything else. We also learned that Captain Anderson used to be a specter. He was on a mission with Saren. That mission got royally bungled, kept Captain Anderson from being a specter, which is um, a big deal because he was supposed to be the first human specter if that mission hadn't gotten bungled. That's why he and Saren have beef, although it's kind of unclear. I'm a little worried for Captain Anderson's life because if Saren now knows that we know that he's gone rogue, I feel like there's nothing really holding him back from going like full evil. If he doesn't even have to pretend to be good anymore, what's keeping Captain Anderson safe? I'm a little nervous about that and think that his uh, um, life expectancy might not be very long going forward. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. We were made specters, which I don't know if I started to mention that earlier, but we were made a specter, which is really exciting because now we can do whatever we want. We are now tasked with finding Liara, going to Novaria and going to Pharos. I'm a little bit nervous about those Geth missions. It's interesting that they're both Geth missions. I don't really know which one I would want to do first. So I want to go find Liara. And then I think I also want to do some exploring around the Citadel. I just kind of want to learn a little bit more, get used to the world, all that good stuff. Like the RPG heavy aspect of it. I want to go do that too. I am just going to go do some exploring. We're going to find Liara, maybe tackle one of those Geth missions, maybe both of them. I don't know. We'll see how we're doing on time. Let's just get going. I will see y'all on the other side. Let's go to CSEC. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. <laughs> That's so much as a life intelligence chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. That's really tacky. That's interesting that they like chose to have the Alliance advertisement be tacked on to um, a discussion about this woman losing her life. Hmm. Let's go to the embassies. I want to do some exploring. Okay. We talked to Avina. We're gonna run back up here to the bar where we were talking to that guy that looked like he was a teenager basically about Samesh Bhatia's wife's body. Let's go in here. Let's talk to this diplomat. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I can't believe I landed a job here. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's talk to this Elcor. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. All right. Nothing else? Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. <laughs> it is good to see you, human. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. <laughs> 
does not sound very sincere. That's pretty funny. Does that just go back down to the entrance? Yes, okay. This was Chancellor, Executor, excuse me. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Odina send you? Who are you? Have we met before? I know who he is, but... No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. Okay. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business, but I don't have to like it. New favorite pet? The Council treats us like second-class citizens. Mm. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. Mm. I'm busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No, we're not done. I want to talk about Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Counselor, so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. I'm a Spectre now, bro. Watch your mouth. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Yep. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. I agree, but my Shepherd is a little self-righteous. So she doesn't agree, but uh, yeah, 100%, I feel the same way. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. Oh. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Mm. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. I've known plenty of dirty CSEC agents. Mm. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. Mm. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. That's so interesting. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Mm. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No, it but isn't. Not all specters are like Saren. Well, that's not no. the conversation we're having. I hope that's something you'll take to heart, Shepard. Hmm. That was really interesting. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. All right, we already said that. All right, he's just trying to provoke now. now. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. That was a really interesting conversation. I just want to see if there's anything over here. Yes, there is. Hold on. Um, that was a super, super interesting conversation. Diplomatic advisory warning. This is loud, sorry. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Ada cluster. Only as one body can we, I was going to say fight. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Mm. Yeah, let's look at that. Strange transmission. You discovered a strange transmission discussing some sort of biotic commune. On the whole, it seems harmless, but something about the message is a little disturbing. Head to the century system in the Hawking Ada cluster and investigate the strange biotic commune. Hmm. I don't know if it seems harmless. It doesn't, I don't know if that feels harmless to me. But yeah, that conversation with um, Executor Palin was really interesting. I'm going to have a conversation about that after this. What do you want? Oh, Commander. 
is there something I could do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari yeah, consort? We, what are we talking about? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. Ha <laughs> ha You've never been, have you, boy? <laughs> I, uh, no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Yeah, as it should. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She knows She's her worth. The bridge from the embassies. Nice. All right. Okay, let's talk to Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, damn. All right, fine. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Phlox or Cora's Den. I've already been to Cora's Den. Didn't end Who well. <laughs> the consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. Mm. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. As she should be. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing certainly more lively than this place. <laughs> Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, Let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Yeah, it was definitely deadlier. Bye. So I, long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I like that he said it's livelier than this place because this is giving me airport lounge vibes. Like you're waiting in the Delta Lounge at the airport and these little dudes are all over the place. You're waiting in the Delta Lounge at the airport just like drinking in the lounge it would be free. But otherwise, you're gonna be drinking, drinking, drinking a twelve dollar margarita, and that is not worth it to me. I like tequila, but no. <laughs> okay, let's see where else we can go explore. I like running around. Let's go check out the financial district. Is that wow? Look, Rex, it's one of your people. Are you looking? He's, where is he? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is so pretty. Look at how gorgeous this is. Massive amounts of water. That's so cool. I want to go check that out. Seasuck and the embassies. All right, rapid transit. Can I go down there? I want to go downstairs and I want to check out that statue. Okay. Is that, that's Avina. I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to Rex. The statue represents what the Kroden used to be. A proud and fierce nation. Now we're just brutes for hire in the highest bidder. Hmm. So they're kind of like hitmen, according to Rex. At least he feels like his race has become mostly hitmen. I didn't realize I could go down here from there. <laughs> God, that's a lot. Welcome, I'm Nelina. I didn't realize I, I could talk to her. I recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yes, I want to meet going? with her. Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? I want to know more about her. Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Mm. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Imagine being that for somebody, just like always being able to anticipate someone's needs would be really nice. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. 
No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. She does seem pretty great. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. Mm. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. Mm. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. The way she said that, I was like, ooh. I'd like to try out your services. Yeah, I would. Excellent. <laughs> I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. I mean, I understand, but I want to be indignant about it. Nobody's worth that much of a word. That's not true. <laughs> Well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Man, she just shut that down. She's probably used to it. <laughs> what do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they- Okay, we talked about this. It's our job to ensure that they leave- Excuse me. Contented. We talked about that. I think we're good. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes! Yes, of course, mistress. Okay. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. I feel like... She'd like to meet with you now. A little flustered. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. go. Let's Just go. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I'm like blushing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can I talk to the client? This is my first talk. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Man, having to be sexy for your You're entire right, job. My is hard. Back on Earth. Okay, I'm nervous. This better be fun. For Shepard, I know it, it's gonna be fun for me. Wow. That looks uncomfortable, but I'm also intrigued. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying. That's not what I meant. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay, bottom options are definitely more aggressive, so I don't want that. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Hmm. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. It's a little manipulative to touch me like that while asking me for a favor. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you okay. want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. What is she doing? Was she supposed to be like whispering in my ear? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. That was a little confusing. They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Yeah, I really like Tali's perspective. I feel like she seems to come from somewhere that She's on the flotilla, right? So she probably just doesn't have that much. In the same way that the Citadel has. So that's interesting. Okay. 
The Asari consort Shayira has asked her to speak to General Septimus. She's concerned that this formal client is spreading false accusations could damage her reputation. Let's go to the lower wards to Kara's den. Okay, we are at Kara's den. I did the wrong thing again every time I go the opposite direction. Why do they have her appear like that? If I want to go to Kara's den, shouldn't I be facing the direction I want to walk in? Where is my man? Harkin, I don't care about you. I'm not talking to you. General Septimus. Oh, yeah. Commander. What do you want? I bothered him when we first came down here. I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Your lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. And unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. Mm. I'm curious what she thinks I can help means. Hmm. I'm gonna say I can help. I'm really curious. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up, man. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, ah, war. That's what this feels like, alright. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Yeah. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. Alright. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Yes, I would, would do. definitely. There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Mm. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Oh, Look, come I just on, need man. To convince him of the truth. Fine. It should be your dirty work, but I'll do it. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Alright. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Hmm. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I mean, maybe, but I too will probably mope over women. Because that's just the vibe, I guess. I don't know, if I was in love with Shaira, I probably would be doing the same thing because she seems like a woman who manages to get under your skin and stay there for 8,000 years. You know what I mean? Okay, where's the fast travel? I don't wanna go to the markets. I would like to go here. Can I fast travel down here? I think I could have back that other direction, but whatever. Um, I want to, I'd rather fast travel. I don't really want to get in that. Wait, that's cute. Look at them. Oh. Romance. Oh, I love that. Okay, so. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. 
This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the enkindlers to be spread. Okay, let's intervene. And Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Spew its nonsense. I don't know what it's evangelizing, but it feels a little rude to say that right in front of the creature. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals uh -uh. must follow regulations. Okay. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Okay, so what's the reason then? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Okay, um, I don't know if I want it to be arrested, but let, mm, I don't want to say that. I think it's interesting. I don't like saying undesirables. If you'd like, I can I talk to that. the for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. This guy is kind of rude. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Okay, what's the problem? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Alright, so purchase the permit. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. I don't know, man. If this isn't your planet, you gotta abide by the rules, I think. But I'm a little... So you're breaking the law by purchasing without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Um... Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Alright, I'm... Mm -mm. Nah. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. Yeah. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. But there is trouble, so I mean, could I buy the permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Hmm. However, this one also <laughs> does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. I don't know if I should say this is unworthy of you or if I should just give it the credits and be be done with it. I think I want to say it's unworthy of you. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread mm. to all sentient races. I don't know if they want this though. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. I don't like this. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I don't know. That, I don't, I don't like the way she kind of manipulated his beliefs, or its beliefs, into getting what we wanted. That felt a little yucky. Even though the whole conversation was a little bit, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I felt about that. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. 
It wasn't my pleasure, but it wasn't happy a problem. To help. Okay, I wasn't Here, happy to help. For your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Did I get money? No, but I got experience. Okay, well. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? No, Rex, you can't eat from the river in the citadel. My people used to have an embassy here, but after we created the gap, they were no longer welcome. Oh, interesting. Okay, Asari Consort, General Septimus in the Presidium. Spoken to General Septimus, and then speak to Zeltan. Okay, so we need to go to Shaira, and then we need to go to the embassies. So let's go talk to Shaira. Consort Chambers? I'm glad they have this fast travel that just lists the locations because otherwise I have a hard time understanding where to go because the map is a little bit um, unhelpful unless you're right next to the plot point or the mission point, I should say. Okay, Shayer, I did your work. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. All right, glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. It was. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I am very interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. I... don't even know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Yeah. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Mm. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Well, I respect her Remember boundaries. Words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I think it's... I like what she said about not everyone appreciates my gifts as you do because I think that a lot of people want to hear what someone else has to say but aren't necessarily ready to hear it and i have a feeling she gives out a lot of information that people are not ready to hear and that would be a little mm, difficult in certain relationships i think so i'm sure her job at times is a little challenging just from that aspect, regardless of literally anything else. And now, let's go to the embassies. No, wait, I want this direction, right? And talk to this bad boy. Human, right? Welcome. It is good to meet you. Not this one? Alcor Embassy. Where's the Alcor Embassy? Okay, I thought I was going to the right place. Embassy Lounge? Ravina. Okay, I think I need to go up the other side. Alright, I'll meet you over there. Let's go talk to the Elcor. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't... This is serious. Okay. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Hmm. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I can help you, man. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Mm. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. 
confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Torian oh. could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. It's expressing its emotions by saying them. Okay, I get it now. Um, I wouldn't worry. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Yeah. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Yeah. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yeah. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was I a like great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Dan, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to promise in some way. Hmm. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Hmm. I don't think that that was an honest mistake, like we told that. What was he? Um, Elcor? I don't, I don't think that was an honest mistake. I mean, that was pretty vengeful to be spreading stuff about her. Well, the new Earth Clan Spectre. Obviously, you're already lost. Your ambassador is next door. Chastising remark. Yeah, rude. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Kornak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Why are you so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. Yeah. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Oh, chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I can understand why that would make someone angry. That is pretty upsetting. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Mm. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. That would be so hard. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Mm. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This mm. talk is wasted on the humans. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye, because... Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. I don't want to keep talking to him. He's a. I want to go do the other missions. Let's talk to this guy. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. How do you know about that? That's too aggressive, but I want to know who he is. Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. I thought his name was Kohaku, like in Spirited Away, and I was really excited for a animal? second. <laughs> I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Mm -hmm. Suddenly it's a restricted area. Suspicious. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. 
Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. All right, let's check it I'll out. Find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. Hmm. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I think... I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen. Here. Okay. Maybe you can get some answers. I think it's important to... Be looking out for human interests, I guess, if I'm going to be a specter. All right, let's find um, where I need to go. Gareth, who is this guy? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's wrong? Maybe I can help. Mm, well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Yeah. Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Hmm, those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Okay. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. Okay. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. So it's more likely that someone came after him then. Um, what about the authorities? Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Okay. I know it says reward. I'm my shepherd's not really interested in the reward, so I'm not choosing that. And I will go ahead and do it. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I will. Okay. That's sad. I hope he's okay. I guess it's gonna be us up to us to find him and make sure that he's okay. All right, let's get on to the ship. Ah, okay. All right, we're getting on the Normandy. Gonna go find Stand Liara. By shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Yeah. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I'm gonna be honest. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't gonna be easy. Aiden Prime was just a this start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. All right. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. It's a lot of pressure to put on yourself. You know? All right, we're going to explore the Normandy a little bit. Okay. Let's talk to Navigator Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're on our side, man. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Okay, but Nihilus died because he was murdered. Is he getting at something different than what I'm understanding? Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. Yeah. It's not that, Commander. 
Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. But it's not just us. We do need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to yeah. every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. It better not be, because I'm not dealing with racism on my ship. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Mm -hmm. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. Mm -hmm. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Okay, so he must have... Carry on, Presley. Um, yes, ma'am. Attachment to both the ship and me, which is good. Seeing as we want him to... Be loyal for the right reasons. Um, okay, so that's... Looks like a meeting room. And then there is a door over here. This is gonna go down. Where does this go? Okay, so there's elevators right there. There's food or something, a place to eat. My locker, let's take all of those. Let's talk to Kaden. Hmm. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Yeah. I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Okay. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. But we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. I think he's right. He's just like, go do the Liara mission. Stop messing around. So I think I'm going to take the hint and we're going to go do that. And then I will explore the Normandy a little bit more in my own time and keep you updated if I find anything that feels worth talking about for the time being, if that sounds okay. And if you want to see more of just the exploration, just let me know because I will be doing it regardless and I can leave it in if you want or just edit it out. No problem. Okay. Um, wow, this is interesting. Can I go anywhere other than the Citadel? Okay. Wow, what an existential crisis. We keep zooming out, oh my God. This is, the oh my God. Wow. Oh my God, look at how big this is. Hawking Ada, wow, wow. Major existential crisis when you think about how giant the universe is. We're gonna go to Liara first. Sparta, Macedon. Did we remember which one she was on? Let's go to Athens. I don't remember if they told us where she was. So cool watching the Normandy undock and leave. I would love to be that pilot. Joker has a very cool job. Oh, the Mass Effect relays are so cool. They're so cool. Okay, where? Athens, Circe, Proteus, Salamis. Let's go to Nausicaa. I don't know if this is the right Am I not going the right place? I don't... Okay. I don't know if 
this is... I will find Liara and I'll meet you there because I keep clicking not where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I think I found Liara's planet. I think I'm gonna take... Ugh. I don't know. I think I wanna take Rex. Oh, this is so hard. I love Tali. But I love Garrus too. And Caden's fun. Ashley's a little boring so far, so I think I'm gonna add Tali to the squad. And hope that that was the right one. God, what a hard landing. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Mm. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. Well, someone's been here because you can see drive tracks. I am going to be horrible at driving this. I can just tell already. Okay, I want to pause for a second and see if I can tell. Okay, it didn't tell me which one. It just said the clusters. Okay. Okay, go left. I guess. We'll just keep following these tracks that we kind of see as I make a mess of the surface of this world with my giant tracks from the truck. What is it called? It's got a name again, but there's an enemy over there. Great. Okay. I remember being on one of these planets and there being a giant worm. What is that noise? Oh my god. Is that a reaper? Is this how I shoot at them? Oh my god. Is that how this works? Am I doing it right? I don't know. It just kind of like threw me in the deep end and... Okay. But as I was saying, I remember there being a... God, this is hard to control. There being a worm on one of these planets, I think. I remember the most random parts of this game, I feel. Only a fool punches a map back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Sneak around where, though? Like, do I exit? Can I exit? Oh my god. Uncool. Can I get out? Okay. My people have searched many generations for a world to call home. If we landed here, we'd just keep searching. <laughs> yeah, this is not very hospitable. Okay, let's talk to Rex. Reminds me of home. Can I go through here? No? Okay. He said to sneak in, but I'm... The Mako? Mako? Is that how you say it? Can I sneak in over here? Is that what he meant? About sneaking in? Ooh, this is so hard to drive. Oh my god. I don't know if 
I'm doing this the right way. Or not. Oh! Took that go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can I not? There we go. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get out and murder these guys. Maybe not, maybe this was a bad idea. Warp, let's use sabotage and barrier maybe. Oh my god. Nope, I'm getting back in the Mako. <laughs> We're gonna kill these guys that way. Oh my god. Jesus. Where's the other one? Is that something I wanna kill? Unclear. Oh my god. This is really confusing. I'm being horrible at this. Okay. I don't know if I killed all the enemies or not. I think maybe this was where I was supposed to go. This is a mess. always get nervous at these. Okay, let's take all those. Hold on, I'm just gonna check my um, squad. Okay, so I just upgraded a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's what they meant. Okay, well. I did not mean to do a medigel. I feel like I just wasted that. Okay. else there is left over here. I feel like I pretty much explored a lot of it. But we'll run over here. Let's get this locked crate. Ugh, every time I'm nervous. Okay, so there's some heavy armor. Okay, there's an enemy over here. And I can't go. Okay. 50 degrees hotter and I might start to feel uncomfortable. 50 degrees? 50 degrees? That's a lot of degrees. Whoops. Oh my god, go up the thing. Alright, Tali, go. Where is she? All right. Go. Fight. All righty, got that too. Okay. How are we doing? Activate that. All right, let's get going. Get back in the Mako and drive on through. See if we can get to Liara. I may just meet y'all on the other side, if that's okay. On the road again. Okay. What the shit? Um, oh my god. Do I have to exit? Do I have to go up there? No, I think I go back that direction to my left, maybe. Yes. Mm, the 
it's just so difficult to control sometimes. Okay. It's parked, get out, let's go. I don't know, this seems a little perilous to be running up, huh? Um, let's use throw, and then let's use bearing. Oh my god. Okay, on the bright side, I think I am getting better at fighting these bad boys. Which is a relief, because for a little while then, oh my god. It was feeling really messy. Just wanted to if there's anything back there. What is shooting at us? Oh my god, Tali, get out of the way. I'm like gonna go and blasting. Okay, I swear to God. If Liara isn't here after all this, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Anybody else? Okay. I keep forgetting that I can look at my map. Let's use work. I don't know when it tends to work and when it doesn't tend to work. Like, am I just using it wrong? Maybe. It's nice to know she runs so much faster when we're in combat. Okay. That took forever to get through. Lizard. bad. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was close to dying. All right, first death. First death. Again? Oh my god. Why am I dying so much? Is this supposed to be hard? Because it feels hard. Okay, that guy's dead. That motherfucker's dead. That guy 
what that says. No, let's use warp. Can we use Marksman? Oh my god. Let's use Overkill on him. Did I kill most of them? Yes, die. I am mad. I'm so mad. Where's the other one? Finally! I can't believe I died twice. That is excessive. Didn't like that. Let's get in here. Oh my god. About time, right? Mm. Okay. Let's go through here. Kind of a spooky tunnel. I feel like the fact that she gets fatigued so easily is a little... Like, it makes me traveling everywhere so slow. Oh my god. Again? I'm kind of sick of fighting these guys. Can I, like, unjam the shields or anything? I don't really want to do- oh my god. Okay. Am I supposed to, like, do anything with these? Should I just shoot them? I go in, like, just blasting all the time. Okay, so that's what that does. I, like, am really bad at stealth. Just because I kind of I'm just checking the like this cavern formed around the ruins after, after it was built. built. Okay, cool. I just kind of don't care about stealth. Wait, was I supposed to go up? Oh shit. Wait, go back, go back, go back. I wanted to go explore what that thing was. Can I go back up? You lead, I'll follow. Is it stupid to go back up there? Okay, I want to go check that out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I checked out the barrier, tried to shoot it, nothing happened. Who's shooting at me? I don't like this gun. What an annoying death. I can't believe I'm dying so much absurd <gasps> no i have to that is so annoying and she runs like so slowly she's like a leisurely jog okay let's see if i die against these guys again because god that was so irritating and this is the world's longest elevator ride all the way down like that's it? There's gonna be no discussion? Can I crouch? Come on. Tali, wait. Sabotage them for me. Use sabotage. And then this bad boy. Let's warp. Okay, that's it. Why am I using this gun? Okay. Tally is my queen. <laughs> Rex is funny. It is pretty sterile feeling. Okay, I swear to god. Where is Liara? Like, is this really her mission? Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, hello? <gasps> Could somebody help me? Please? 
me. I'll help. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Yeah. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? How did you get trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. I'll sure try. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll get you we'll out. Find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Oh god, a Krogan. Okay, Rex, your time to shine, bud. Um... I... Hold on. I can't think of shoot at the same time. I feel like I'm just shooting at nothing. Okay, let's go. Still have enemies around here. Okay, I'm gonna quick level up. What? Okay, um. Oh my god, I did the same thing. What was that? Oh my god. Did I just... Okay. Containment cell. That was aggressive. Okay. Did I get her out? Um... I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. This is a fighting area. This, we're gonna fight. Who, I don't know. But, oh. Let's get moving. Okay, Liara, let's go. Oh. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower. Um, let's say it's not important. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. And yet we will see more Geth. I'm certain of it. Uh. So did she put herself in there? That's the impression I got. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia Why would they come involved? after you? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What's happening? What the hell was that? <gasps> yeah, what was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. 
We gotta go. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. We need an escape plan, though. Joker, okay, get the Normandy like... airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, Mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Double. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. <laughs> on the he double. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Me too, Rex. Rex gets it. Okay, this feels like a battleground because of all the stuff right here. And she said there was a Krogan with them and we have yet to see him. So I think we are going to have to get through him to get out of here. I have a feeling. Keep saving the content, which is really annoying. There he is. I feel like Rex would probably be pretty bothered to see a Krogan with a gift. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Cory an ally, okay. Um In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Mm, Thanks for no. getting rid of those energy fields for us. No. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. I'm not giving her up. She'll stay with us, thanks. <laughs> Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Too bad, man. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Okay, let's sabotage, and let's um, let's do try immunity, I guess, and then I'm gonna let's. War of that guy. Die. Oh. He's still shooting. At me. I need him to get away from Liara. Like, don't even come close to me. Um, let's throw nothing. Cool. Adrenaline burst. Ooh. Oh, that's Rex. Let's throw this guy. Okay. God, what a mess. I feel like I should start mapping my biotic abilities and things instead of just messing with them on the fly. Why did they stop to look? They should just leave. That was like giving me motion sickness. Look at how tiny they are. Traumatic. What a mission. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. He saved Joker us. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad yeah. jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But mm. I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. Damn! 
I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Same. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Oh. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. That is so frustrating. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. Mm. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. Mm. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Really? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. Hmm. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Okay. Who came before them, though? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? Yeah. I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Mm. Only ruins survive. Mm. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Mm. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, okay. like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut up and I'll tell you, it's so rude. Uh-uh, we're gonna be nice. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. Mm. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? The beacon, I there guess. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Okay. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. Yeah. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. Hmm. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Oh, but it was interesting. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I think you're still helpful, I don't know though. why Saren wanted you out of the picture. But I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. I think it will. Our biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Hell yeah, it will. The team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, go we eat. We can talk go again sleep. after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Mm -hmm. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help Liara's us? Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. 
Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. Yeah. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> Disconnect? That's funny. Um, yeah, I think it was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Yeah. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Wow. Okay. I think I am going to end it here. We just had a lot happen and I kind of want to digest it and see where we're at. Um, we still have Noveria or Noveria and Pharos to investigate and then we have a lot of side assignments as well. Next time, I don't know which one I should do first. I'm thinking maybe the Geth interest first and then the Geth attack. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll think about it and we will see how we feel next time. So yeah. All right, y'all, that is it for today. I feel like a lot happened. And at the same time, I was kind of like doing a lot of busy work. It feels like this episode was really interesting because I did a couple of just like side errands before finding Liara. The Liara mission took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. When I started it, I wasn't sure I was on the right track because it was kind of unclear where in the Artemis Tau cluster I was supposed to go. And then from there, it just like dropped me into the Mako. Mako, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Just kind of dropped me into our vehicle and was like, do your thing. So I wasn't sure for a while if I was going the right direction or like how to control it, all that stuff. So that was like a little bit frustrating, although the vehicle was kind of fun at the same time. I remember very vaguely when I played this back in high school that it was like a massive pain in the ass to drive. And this time it was like a little bit clunky, but um, it felt good like i felt for the most part pretty fine even though i was a terrible driver and not very good with the controls because again it just kind of like threw me into it so i don't really know the conversation with liara was really really interesting her telling us that there was something before the protheans that we actually if i understood correctly oh like all of our stuff too like we have been attributing you know the mass effect relays and civilization the citadel all this like amazing technology to the Protheans. But what I understood is that there's actually something before the Protheans that we actually owe a lot of our gratitude towards in terms of having access to this massive technology that we have now. And Liara is spending all of her time researching. Well, I can see her coming in really handy as we learn a bit more about the Protheans because I have a feeling we're going to be figuring out what civilization was happening before the Protheans there. She is now seeing that the Geth have come back so I think more and more like slowly but surely everyone's going to kind of start realizing hey we've been right all along these Geth are things that we're going to have to worry about because they're really happening they're going to keep killing me because I died multiple times in this episode and it was so annoying because usually I can kind of stay alive in games. I I am frustrated that I died multiple times in that section because it seemed like it wasn't supposed to be a super difficult fight and it makes me nervous for the rest of the game in terms of am I just gonna keep dying on normal difficulty because that's gonna drive me just absolutely bonkers. Other than that, I think one of the things I really, really liked about this episode was talking to Executor Palin and the conversation we had with him. I know I said earlier in the episode I was gonna talk about it and then it just totally slipped my mind, but I really, really liked his perspective on the Spectres and how he was like, I don't like anything that thinks itself above the law and how there's not enough accountability with the Spectres because I have been saying that the past couple of episodes, I feel like I've been expressing the same idea and I'm not necessarily like completely in agreement with him in terms of like what I'm projecting his ideas to be but I do it does seem like there's not much accountability with the specters that they're like just this super powerful presence that can just kind of do whatever they want and there's not really a whole lot of checks and balances and I don't 
get the impression that they have any sort of like fail safe to make sure that the people that are becoming specters or the individuals that are becoming specters are not gonna like use their powers for evil. I feel like they're taking a lot on faith and it sounds like from past conversations we've had with like Anderson and even a little bit of the council, that Saren is not an isolated incident that they have had specters go rogue in the past. So I just like have a whole lot of thoughts about the idea of specters and how it feels like a huge risk for the reward that you would get for a specter that is like above and beyond really good at their job. You know what I mean? And then I also thought that the conversation we had with that Volus ambassador Din or something, and he was really upset because the Volus aren't getting represented after being part of the Citadel or like represented or something like that in the Citadel for a really long time, but still aren't getting represented. It sounds like in the council or considered for other positions of power. So he was really frustrated and by proxy frustrated with me because obviously I'm a representative of the human race as Shepard. And I just thought, I felt really bad for him that he was so upset about it because I think if I were him, I would be really pissed off too. Like having to wait so long to have like my people represented and be fighting like tooth and nail to get my people represented. And then we have this like other group, this other species come in and all of a sudden, even though everyone kind of seems to hate us, they get representation, they get made into a specter, all that stuff. And we've only been part of like the Citadel or whatever it is, the council for like nine years, I think they said in the first or second episode when we were, I believe talking to Avina, that would be so frustrating. So I think that's really interesting to have conversations like those side conversations with some of the characters as I explored the Citadel was so rewarding because it makes the world a lot richer and it makes me learn more about like tensions between the races so that when I think future plot points will happen, whatever they are, I will have just kind of a richer understanding of the context and the conflicts between the species and the motivations and it just might help me as Shepard make different decisions because I am like when I make these decisions in the game, keeping the thoughts of like all the different characters that I've talked to in my mind and like my decisions as Shepard come from this idea that I've had this interaction with this Volus and he was really upset because he's not represented or I've talked to the Asari consort and she said this about me. So I just really, really liked that. And I, I love having those conversations. So if you want to see more of like the side conversations that I have with characters, just let me know because I will happily put those in there. Cause I, I love, I'm a completionist when I play games. I try to be really thorough. I try to like talk to everyone. It's a little bit harder in RPG games because there's always so much happening, but I am very much like a, I want all the trophies. I want all the knowledge. I want everything. The final thing I was thinking of was that conversation with the Hanar, I think it was, that evangelical Hanar. It brings up so many thoughts about when you're a guest on another planet or, you know, in the context of Earth, a guest in another country, like you have to abide by their laws when you go visit, like who has the right to do what, when, and what kind of restrictions do we place on people? It just, I, it was really, really interesting. So that all that to say that I just appreciate the like little bits of world building that Bioware has put into this game because I think it makes everything so rich and it makes the interspecies conflicts so interesting and tangible. And there's like aspects of everything that I can see related into like my worldview and like the way I interact with and see the actual world that we live in outside of Mass Effect. So I just really liked that. I thought it was really interesting. I am excited to figure out what missions we're gonna do next time, Noveri or Pharos. I'm really not sure. I'm a little bit nervous. Let me know if you have any thoughts on what planet I should visit next. I will see you next time. I hope that you have a great rest of your week and until then, take care of yourselves. Bye y'all.